Hey everybody, I'm just setting up real quickly. We'll get started very soon, so thank you for your patience. Hello everybody, welcome to tonight's show. I'm your host, Brezza, and um, today I uh, will be doing something that you guys have wanted for a very long time. We are going to be looking at the Evolved Reborn items. Um, and I'll be also showing off some other things I've changed with Miner's Haven. Of course, as always, I'll be answering questions from the chat if anyone's curious about Miner's Haven. The direction Miner's Haven is going, uh, items that are being added to Miner's Haven, really anything. But the deep personal questions, I'm cool with anything. Um, not really anything, but yes. Welcome everybody, I'm gonna put on slight slow mode. <laughs> 10 second slow mode so you guys don't go absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, before I show off the Evolved Reborn items, let me just catch you guys up to where Utopia, which is the Miner's Haven testing server, is currently at. Now, if you guys try to join, it will, of course, tell you you do not have permission. Um, I'm expecting testing to open up very soon. We're looking at um, the next two or three weeks. Uh, Utopia will open up first to executives only and then maybe to more people. Um, but uh, as you can see, we have a new simple loading screen. It's a little tip at the bottom. Now, when I designed this simple screen, uh, this, this loading screen, I designed it to be as simple and fast as possible. You know, the last one did a bunch of fancy camera movements and rendering the map and all that. And as a, as a result, you know, on slower connections and slower computers, it takes forever to load in. But this, you're in, no problem, very quick. What's that? Your base made 391 trillion while you were away. Now, I wasn't away very long. I was only away for like an hour. If I was away for three days, it probably would have made at least a couple quadrillion. Uh, but yeah, major feature is that your base will now make money even when you're not online, which is, of course, huge. So you make a really cool setup, and you can leave your base running, go do something else. And when you come back the next day, your base will have made a ton of money. Uh, and the game does that by calculating your setup's income. As you can see in the top right, this is my current income. Um, and it actually averages it over a long period of time. So you can't just wait for a really overpowered ore from a scrollinger to get into a furnace and then leave the game, because it averages your income over a long period of time. Uh, I'm still dealing with a little glitch where sometimes the hitbox will stay if you select something really fast. There we go, you can see a hitbox there. But that'll be fixed in no time. Uh, big highlights, let's do the big highlights. So the big highlights is a um, new selection thing. So the selection thing is now no longer based on your mouse, it is based on the items. Um, so there's a fancy select multiple items thing, and you can now move multiple items together as a group, um, like this. You can rotate them, you know, do whatever you want, and then place them back in. Boom, no problem. Uh, that's been a major feature you guys have requested for a while. 
I'm just catching everyone up to speed right now, so apologies if you've already seen some of this, but I thought it'd be really cool to show off. Um, another thing is favoriting. You can now favorite your favorite items, and they will always show up at the top of your inventory no matter what, uh, ex unless you search for something. Thank you, EMSI, for subscribing. Thank you, everybody, by the way, who's subscribing. Um, for example, if I look up basic with the search, uh, the favorite will still come up first, but only stuff that has basic in the name will come up. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm still working on the mouse over for the inventory. So mouse over is where... Uh, oh, that's an interesting bug. Yeah, I'll fix that, definitely. Uh, mouse over is where like it shows the item name or whatever when you mouse over. I don't have that yet, obviously. Although something I do have really cool is you can hold... Look at that. Thank you so much, Moltres Mitch, for subscribing. Look at that. You know, if you wanted to do this previously, this is what you'd have to do. You'd have to go like this. Boop. 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 And now... Oops, missed one. Ooh, maybe if you're holding control, I'll make it so you can select multiple items. Like, you can do this, and then if you're holding control and you click another one, you'll select that too. That's that's something for future. Because if you move your mouse too fast, it skips some. But there we go. Um, in the past, you know, this would take forever. But now it's it's a breeze. Um, let's look at the shop. So something I've done with the shop is... Uh, thank you so much, Trojan101, for subscribing, and everyone else who's subscribing. What I've done with the shop is I've actually recategor I've categorized all the items, and I've changed the prices and the tiers to make progression more smooth. You know, I, I removed some of the mines, like the Crucible Iron Mine. If you still own the Crucible Iron Mine, it'll still appear in inventory, but it's no longer in the shop. Um, and I've also added special markers on certain items, so people understand that they're different. So, for example, all of these, they're normal mines, they have nothing, but this is a manual mine. So, thank you so much, Yuva Tim and Useless Book Production, for, uh, for signing, for not signing up, for subscribing. Um, so, for example, Gold Excavator, manual. It, manual just means you have to manually click it. And so, any item that you have to manually click has the manual marker. And there's also remote. Remote is any item that's activated by a remote, uh, the remote thing, which is now... No, I don't have any remote items put down. I'll show that off later. Um, and then there's also a brand new new tag. Anyway, if we move on to furnaces, you'll see that... Oh! Wow. My research thing still hasn't been approved, huh? That's just dandy. So my research thing actually got denied. I'm just going to try re-uploading that. That's an interesting glitch. Um, but this is research. The icon for it's gone. But, um... It's basically research furnaces, which have all been buffed, by the way. They no longer take away a huge portion of your money. It's no longer one-third. It's now, they actually are really good now. Uh, there's a special thing for cell furnaces. Uh, there's a special thing for anything that uses coal. And this is a brand new manual, um... This is a brand new manual furnace, which is really cool. You have to click a button to activate it. And now when you buy something, there's a fancy little animation where it flies into your inventory. So, whoop! Yep, it flies into your inventory like that. Uh, if we move on to upgraders, you'll see that the upgraders are all specially marked, so you can tell the difference between a conveyor and an upgrader. Um, you can see what's new. There's some new upgraders. This is manual, obviously, so it's marked that way. Thank you so much, Oxnite the Dabster, for subbing. Um, yes, I am. Guys, I am revealing the Evolved Reborn this stream, but I don't want to do it right away. I want to wait for some people to show up so they don't miss it. Uh, what about mobile? That's a great question, and I, well, I can't show that off on this stream, I will show it off on another stream. Basically, instead of just showing up on the left, the menu is full screen on mobile, so you can easily click and see everything. Um, and everything's tailored so that the mobile experience is great and fully functional. You shouldn't be lacking any features, or at least you should have all the major features. So you'll be able to sacrifice, you'll be able to chat, you'll be able to do everything that mobile can't do right now, pretty much. Um, some features, like for example, drag to drop, oh, whoops, drag to drop might be, why do I keep trying to drag things that I only have one copy of? Uh, oh my god, uh, some things like drag to drop might be a little bit harder for me to implement for you guys, um, but rest assured, you guys will get most of the important stuff. You might not get some of the cool audio life features, but you will get all of the gameplay features. Uh, also, something new is that items, when you mouse over them, they now light up, so it's easier to see stuff at night. Um, I'm going to change the light setting so it's really dark at night again, because I really like the way that was. Um, but uh, stuff lights up now in the color of the tier when you mouse over it, so you can easily see it. Um, you got your nice handy flashlight. The dark won't be so bad, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, 
Finally, we got decorations. No special tags yet, although I do want to add some new ones. And then finally, we have a special tag for infusers. That's about it. Um, there's a new click sound. There's really nice sound effects for everything now. So there's a sound effect for selecting something. Sound effect for selecting multiple things. You know, some cool tab sound effects. Click sound effects. And finally, last feature I'm going to show off before we get into the Evolved Reborn is the new settings tab. Um, there's a lot of stuff here, so we'll go one by one. There's a brand new ore limit, which, did it break? Did I break my ore limit? Uh, that's fun. That has nothing to do with ore limit, though. I'll have to look into it. I might have broken the ore limit. Seems broken. Oh, did I break the whole settings tab? Wow! Um... Let me reset my character on what's going on. That's a nice little bug. See, that's why Utopia isn't open yet. Because <laughs> the game just randomly decides to break every once in a while. And that's not very chill at all. Um, let me see how everything initialized. Uh, settings. Attempt to index Tycoon a nil value. Huh. Let's fix that real quickly. So, line 14 of settings. So my GUI system is incredibly modular. There's only one script and it requires all the modules and all the modules can reference each other by name instead of by um, by directory or whatever it's called, by full name. Um, settings, what line is that? Line 14, what's wrong with line 14? Player data. That would do it if we don't have a tycoon. Why don't we have a tycoon? Ah, I know what's going on. Um, I see what's happening here. Um, if tycoon equals equals nil, then tycoon equals by equals player. Quick fix, quick fix, nice quick fix. Um, but if the settings page was working, uh, you can enable or disable all of the mines on your base. Uh, you can rebirth. Uh, the sacrifice will appear here only if you have enough money, but that will appear. And then you have base permissions, which is the new big feature. You can give people... Whoa! Thank you so much, Reborn Minecraft, for donating. I did not know that was a thing. Oh, super chat! Uh, cool. Thanks, man. Um, so, yeah. Um, you can add people to your base, and you can give them build, buy, or sell permissions. And so, you can add them to your base and not give them any permissions at all. Uh, and that just makes it so they can see your inventory, but they can't actually do anything to your base. Uh, which is really cool if you want to show someone your items, but you don't want them to mess around with your base. You can give them build permissions, which, which lets them pick stuff up. And, uh, oh, thank you, Daddy Brezza, for subscribing. Um, which lets them pick stuff up. Uh, you can use buy, which, um... Deadpool is awesome. Cool, thanks for subbing. Buy gives them permission to buy stuff from the shop, and sell gives them permission to sell your items. Um, so, obviously, if you don't trust someone, you don't give them any permissions, otherwise you can just give them build. Uh, and how it works is that when you walk away from your base, um, how do you edit someone's base if you have permissions? Well, when you walk away from your base, when you walk far enough away from your base, it will say, Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's legit never happened. Why is this happening now? <laughs> oh, why does everything have to break? Whatever, I'll fix that. But basically, when you leave your base, let's say you left your base, and then you jump over to a friend's base, and it will instantly switch over to their inventory and their shop and everything as soon as you get to their base. So it's completely seamless. Let me reset. I need to look into something. I edited the code for that, and there is uh, some stuff I need to fix there. Thank you so much, Jaden, for subscribing. All right. Um, so that's all the new features so far that I'm willing to show off. Now let's get into the Reborn Fusions. This is the stuff you guys have been wanting to see for forever. I haven't added the Withdraw All button yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and manually withdraw every single item on my base. There we go. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to show off the new remote thing. So where's the... Let's put down a remote mine. We'll search remote. What? What? Do I not have any remote items? Um, I'm very confused. E excuse me? Oh, it's case sensitive. Haha. <laughs> ha! 
that's another thing to fix. Anyway, when you put down a remote item, there's a brand new drop right here. You can drag it around like you could with the last one. Put it down here, put it wherever you want. Default position's up here. Uh, and the ore limit appears right here under the base thing. Anyway, um, let's show off the new items. The first one I'm going to show off because it's really cool is Sakura Falls. It is the evolved version of Sakura Garden. And just look at this bad boy. This is a monster. This is easily going to be one of the best furnaces in the game because Sakura Garden is an amazing furnace. And this is the evolved version of that. So let's go into what evolved reborns are. Basically, there's going to be an NPC on the map that sells or will let you get blueprints. Now, once you get a blueprint, it will tell you to do something. Like, for example, place 17 Sakura Gardens. Completely arbitrary number. I'm, I'm going to pick a better number later. But thank you, Lightning, for subbing. It's going to tell you, you know, take uh, 12 Sakura Gardens, put them on your base, and then rebirth. And then when you rebirth with only 12 Sakura Gardens on your base, what we'll do is, instead of giving you a normal reborn item, it will give you the Sakura Falls. And you will lose the Sakura Gardens. And so you'll essentially fuse them into one super powerful Evolved Reborn. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones. Now, this one, I know you guys are going to love this one. So this is the Evolved Reborn for the Dragon Blaster. And wow, just, just look at that thing. Look at that thing. This is the Hydra Blaster, and it is the Evolved version of the Dragon Blaster. And wow, it is... That is what I call an upgrader. Your ores will be blasted with, with Dragon Breath from not one, but three dragons. That is absolutely awesome. Next, moving on, we have um, the Symmetrite Mine instead of the Symmetria Mine. Uh, Symmetrite Mine. And wow, this is just majestic. Look at its wings. It's not scripted yet, so there's no ore coming out. But look at the wings, look at the particles on the back. Just absolutely majestic. Let's see if I have the original Symmetra Mine to compare it with. I do. This is the original Symmetra Mine to compare it with. And it's like, wow, that is just a monster. Ah, I forgot to make that part recolor. We'll have to fix that. Uh, there's a lot of bugs that I need, <laughs> I need to fix. Um, I'm only in the initial testing phase still. But yeah, that is just absolute beauty. Absolutely amazing. Um, and this is, of course, the Simcorpia mine, which is cool and all, but it has nothing on the Symmetra mine, or the Symmetrite mine. The Symmetrite is beautiful. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next one. We have the Deadly Spore. Now, this one's going to be really fun. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to make it do yet, but again, a beautiful item that just looks awesome. Um... You got the mushrooms growing completely out of control, and you know this is going to be a great item. Um, now, before I show the rest, I want to talk a bit about um, how these, like, I, I want to talk a bit about who this is aimed for. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, Brezza, could you make, thank you so much, CyberZepid, for subscribing, uh, could you make more Reborn Fusions? Reborn Fusions are items that are given only to people who have sacrificed. And I felt as though they were too simple, you just get them for rebirthing, and only a very small amount of players got them. And so this will help you in the high lives, these will be very useful items for the high lives, but at the same time these are going to be items that even low life players can get. Um, you know, all you need for example for this is like 10 wild spores, or 10 dragon blasters. Um, you don't need to have reached life a thousand, you just need a bunch of duplicate items that you don't know what to do with, and that's how you're going to get them. Uh, if we move along to the next one, this is one of my personal favorites. This is um, the Morning Star Evolved, and this is just absolutely beautiful. This is the... what did I call it? The Neutron Star. That's actually the name of, that the original creator gave it. Um, absolutely beautiful. They went for a just completely color change approach. And this is just going to be a great, beautiful item, great upgrader, all the loopability of the Morning Star, um, plus a little bit extra. Great, great item. Um, and then next up, we have this one's great. This one is absolutely great. This is the Catalyst's um, evolution. And you already know you are looking at a very spicy item here. I forgot what I called it, though. Let's check the name. But you already know that this is a spicy item. This is the Saturated Catalyst. There it is. It's got a spicy conveyor design. I love these spicy... If you're a submitter, I love these spicy conveyor designs. They are very pretty. 
um, where they do like fancy stuff with the conveyors. I love it. I love it very much. Very pretty. Um, up next we have this is this is good. So this one is probably the most common one that you guys will find. It's still going to be very powerful though. This is the Quantum Ore Refiner, and it is from the Quantum Ore Cleaner. Now I think I'm of a school of thought that it is better to refine an ore than to clean it. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion though. Uh, but yeah, that is the Quantum Ore Refiner, um, and this is probably the most common one since Quantum Ore Cleaner is one of the most common reborn items that you are most likely going to have. Um, and then moving on, this one's great. I know you guys love the blind justice. This is the swift justice for when, uh, for, for when justice can't be blind. And this is just a much bigger, much more intricate version of the blind justice. Guys got two flaming balls there. He will mess you up. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Um, he will absolutely mess you up. Um... Also, some minor changes. Uh, whew, better fix that bug later. Um, some minor changes. Game.service storage. Word item invoke. So, some minor changes. Uh, the new oh, There's a special sound effect and color for when you're awarded something. It looks like that now. Um, instead of the old sound. And it's, it's a special sound effect and it's a special color. So you know you've got something good. Um, yeah, and then let's move on. This is going to be the big daddy here. This is the one you're least likely to get, and I might even add a badge for getting this. This is the evolved version of the Northern Lights. This is Aurora Borealis, and this is just just something else. This is on a whole new... Let's get a floodlight just so we can capture how beautiful this item is. This item is just on a whole nother level of its own. It's got a beautiful particle going up into the air that everyone nearby will see. And it is just a beauty. But this is, of course, a few, a, a uh, evolution of the Northern Lights. Thank you, Batman, for subbing! Wow, I'm a huge fan, Batman. I love your comic books. Um, yeah, this, this item is beautiful. But not a lot of people are, are going to get this because this is going to involve owning like 10 Northern Lights or something. Maybe less because this is, Northern Lights is super rare. The chances of getting Northern Lights are... I know people who have gone to Life 1000 and don't have Northern Lights. Um, so yeah, yeah. But that's definitely something I'm looking... Uh, something to look out for because this is just an amazing item. Um, thank you, Godman, for subscribing. Thank you, everyone, who's subscribing. I appreciate you guys. And finally, last but not least, we have the Astral Setter. Um, and this is just a beautiful version of the Astral Predictor. Um, and how this is going to work, I think I'm going to make it slightly different. The Astral Predictor upgrades your ore after 30 seconds. I'm going to make it so this does tiny upgrades to your ore constantly, non-stop. Well, not non-stop, but every second it upgrades your ore by a small amount for 30 seconds. That And that amount will end up being better than 30 seconds from the Astral Predictor. So it'll be very good upgrade, but it'll be upgrades over time. Um, and that'll be a very interesting upgrader. Uh, as for the Aurora Borealis, it's probably just going to be a buffed version of the Northern Lights. Probably going to have the highest multiplier in the game, but the catch is that you have to power it with sparkling coal, so that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, this one, again, going to be similar. I'm going to buff Sakura Garden, uh, nerf Sakura Garden a bit, because it's a little overpowered and it's not very interesting. Um, but the Sakura Falls will still be a great furnace, so if you have a lot of Sakura Gardens, don't worry, you'll still have a great, easy furnace to use but it's not going to be the best because I want the complicated furnaces that take effort to use to be a little bit harder and a little bit better. Uh, as for the Hydro Blaster, a lot of people complain that the Dragon Glass Blaster isn't everything. You know, they really prefer the Dragon Blaster. Uh, so I'm going to work hard to make sure that the Hydro Blaster is a great item that you guys will love to use, but it will retain the same blowing up ore thing. As for the Symmetric Mine, I'm not sure. I'm considering just making it a rapid-fire Symmetric Mine, and it upgrades all of its ores non-stop instead of just shooting one at a time, um, which would make it like a Looper's... just just Looper's ha Heaven. Looper's Haven. That's just the best item for Loopers. Thank you guys for 400 viewers. Thank you, Sans the Comic, for subbing. Uh, so we're thinking, we're looking at a rapid-fire Symmetric uh, Symmetrum pretty much that upgrades all of its ores regularly, um, which would just be a super powerful version of the original Symmetrum and would be very, very cool. Um, Deadly Spore. 
I mean, the original Spore, it, what it's known for is that it removes all negative status effects. Um, I think the Deadly Spore will also knock off some upgrades. So basically how it works is every ore has a count of how many times it's been upgraded, and some upgraders actually count as more or less than one upgrade. So like, for example, really weak upgrades count as a tenth of an upgrade, or some count as, like, the, the, the Overlord counts as like a hundred upgrades or something. Uh, but this, it not only will remove stat effect, status effects, but it will also act like an ore negator, and it will knock off upgrade points, which is a good thing. Because it means that, uh, for example, you could upgrade an ore, put it through the Deadly Spore, and then put it into a Cell Furnace. Um, but it'll only knock off two upgrades or so, and if you combine that with the Ore Negator, you could probably knock off like four upgrades. And so this could potentially be very useful for people if used correctly with a Cell Furnace. Uh, very interesting item, I cannot wait to implement it. Thank you so much Troller123Roblox for subscribing. Uh, finally, a Neutron Star, pretty straightforward. I think this is just going to be a very, 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 very powerful Morning Star, but I think you'll also have a tiny chance to destroy your Ore. So, um, this will help you get there faster, but it also could destroy your ore if it's precious. So, it'll be an interesting item, and I'll try to balance it out so it's worth the sacrifice most of the time. Uh, saturated Catalyst, you know, the original Catalyst was pretty straightforward. This one's going to be pretty straightforward. It's probably going to be times 6 instead of times 4 or something, which on its own isn't too powerful. But if you combine it with the Quantum Ore Refiner, which will probably get the same thing, um, together there'll be times 36 combined with other upgraders it goes up very quickly um, as for the swift justice I think what I'm gonna do with this basically the blind justice is a cell furnace that allows its ores to be upgraded some amount of times and I think what I'm gonna do with the swift justice is I'm not gonna change the multiplier but I'm gonna make it so more heavily upgraded ores are allowed in so for example something that's been upgraded 10 times might still be allowed in to the swift justice and that would make for some very interesting gameplay. Thank you so much, Vincent Gale, for subscribing. Maybe I'll even up the multiplier a little bit. We will see. Uh, and that is an overview of the 10 Evolved Reborn items that are going to be making it into this update. Maybe I'll get to adding some more. I'm on a very tight schedule where I basically work on Miner's Haven about 8 hours a day every day of the week. Um, and sometimes I get really burned out and I'm just unable to get any work done. But sometimes I'm super efficient and I like get a huge feature done in one day. Um, so I'm going to try to script all of these tonight. Um, and like I said, in about three weeks we are expecting a demo of a, a full feature demo of these items. Uh, of, of this entire Utopia place as a whole. Um, expect a full feature demo where anyone who's executive can play for a week and then I'll let other people play. Uh, something though that's interesting is that I will probably have to shut down Miner's... Oh, that's another thing I should fix. I will probably have to shut down Miner's Haven for a week before this update um, because I want to test it extensively and thank you Smaller Studios for subscribing. Maybe not a week but three or four days. I want to test it extensively to make sure everything works before I go live with this update. Um, there's a lot more for me to do. Thank you, Hot Pocket, for subscribing. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. Um, there's a lot I need to do. We're not done here yet. We are from a lot far from it. Far, far from it. Um, Miner's Haven is far from dead. I think this update is going to make it bigger than ever. The fact that you can play with your friends is huge. I don't know if you guys saw earlier or not, but on the loading screen, there's save slots. So even if you've beat the game, you can start over without losing your data. And it's just going to be a complete blast. Um, and you guys can do challenge runs, right? But you can also do challenge runs with your friends, which would just be amazing. Um, and yeah, it's worth checking out. Um, I think I'm going to add a badge for helping another player rebirth. I really want to encourage multiplayer. So if you join another player's base and they rebirth for their first time ever while you're helping them on their base, you will get a special badge for it as a way of saying, you know, thank you for helping new players. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this, uh, especially for multiplayer. I think it's going to be a big changer for Miner Saving. Uh, let me let me know what you guys think in the chat. Um, let's let's take this to a quick Q and A and then let's end the live stream. I know it's been very short. I'm sorry about that. Oh, here's something else that you weren't able to do previously, but now you can do. Um, yep, we're gonna be using the Roblox's chat, which means that mobile users can chat, and you have dance animations and all that, and it's gonna be super cool. Also, oh, while we're here, you know what? I don't think I've made the announcement. Uh, type your questions in the chat and be ready to send them. Don't send them yet. Um, I'll let you know when to send them. I'll show off the new shop items. 
So let me just unfavorite everything that I have favorited. Oh, that's a silly bug. I'll fix that. Um, so new shop items. We are looking at two new mines. This one's very simple. It's the emerald mine. Very low down. Very easy to get. This is the onyx mine, which is a lot more rare. And the onyx mine is very interesting because the ore that come out are random sizes, and their value actually depends on the volume, which would be which will be very interesting. Uh, next up, we have this very beautiful um, manual mine. And so when you click it, it becomes more powerful. But when you don't click it, it deactivates. Um, very interesting concept. It's an early shop item, and it's a very powerful furnace for new players if used correctly. Uh, then we have the Angelic Grace, which is a very powerful shop furnace. I want people to use shop items more, so I've buffed all the high-end furnaces, and I believe this one does times 100, but the downside is that it costs 5 UD dollars. Yep. Call ores... Oh, you can't see that, but call ores upon the heaven. Uh, call upon the heavens to accept your ore at 100 times their value. That's huge. Um... Then we got this nice little windy upgrader here, very cool thing. We have the ore clogger, <laughs> as I like to call it. It's actually called the ore dicer, I believe. Uh, where is it? It is the jagged enhancer. And so this thing is literally meant to clog your ores, so you have to be careful when you use it, but it also is very powerful. And that is all for the shop items I've added so far, but I'm looking at adding way more. I have a bunch that I want to add, and I'll probably add them tonight or tomorrow or this weekend. Uh, now, put your questions in the chat. I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much, CryptoMe, for subbing. Put your questions in the chat, and I will try to answer. Why is Angelic Grace a shop item? Well, I mean, let's look at the other shop furnaces. You have an actual cell furnace from hell. Uh, an actual furnace from hell, um, an actual black hole. Um, I want to add some more mythic, mythical-looking items to the shop, and that's really the reason why. Um, I want to break the stigma that all shop items are bad, and I want to make shop items that are useful even for high-life players. That's the goal. Could you make the tier background for Reborn Evolutions gray? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to recolor them to be similar to regular Reborns, though. Reverse Evolutions is a little bit too complicated. Probably not going to happen. What do you think about Modded Haven? Uh, don't try to get your hands on it. I've seen people whose accounts have been terminated by Roblox for using it because it was stolen with exploits. So Roblox doesn't like when games are stolen with exploits. So um, I've seen people get terminated over it. I've seen people get banned over it just for like two weeks. Um, and I've seen people get scammed, like, they buy a game pass from Modded Haven thinking it's a real minor saving, and then they want a refund for me, and I'm like, I, there's really nothing I can do about it, you can try emailing info Roblox. I've seen people try to download it, and they're given a virus, like, people are, people are tricked into downloading viruses, and they're like, oh, I want my account back, and it's like, you gotta be careful with this kind of stuff. And so it's unfortunate that Modded Haven's out there, there's nothing I can really do about it, just don't upload it, don't use it, just stay safe. Um... And most importantly, I'm not too worried about it. You guys shouldn't be either, because this update's going to change Modded Haven so much. Like Modded Haven's going to be like the hipster edition compared to this one. Um, yeah, this metro's not colored. I'm going to get to that. Uh, new exotics planned, absolutely. Probably two or three new exotics. What do you think about releasing two PGFT? Um, I think I'm going to release it in the next three weeks or so. It's almost done. There's just some last things I need to do. But I've been so busy with Modded Haven, I haven't had time to get it done. It will happen though. Uh, how about blueprints? I'm not sure how we'll handle blueprints, but I'm sure I will find a way. Are you planning on adding more reborn evolutions in various upcoming updates? That's a maybe. Um, Lolariz says, meme, dank meme, spicy meme, or wombo combo. I'm definitely going to have to go for the wombo combo there. Uh, please make a subscriber mine. Uh, if you're talking about YouTube subscribers, uh, maybe if there's a way to do that. Twitch subscribers, there's no way for me to check that. And plus, that'd be really shady because I'd be like trading real life money for Roblox stuff, and Roblox doesn't like that, and that's a little bit shady, and I'm not really shady. Uh, what are Onyx and Emerald worth? Great question. Emerald's in between uranium and, and uh, plutonium, and then Onyx is all the way at 1DD, and Onyx is super powerful, and I might buff Onyx even more because I really want people who are going for multiple rebirths to use onyx it is going to be a great mine uh, let's see why is the newest research center just called the research center great question i saw that actually and i renamed it to complete research center very nice call i i just i think i would have just forgotten to rename it honestly but it has been fixed um whew, can you use evolved reborns with fusions so for example um, 
no. You can't use the same fusion with, for, as you guys know, for example, a fusion between the catalyst and quantum. This is completely hypothetical. But how it works is that it applies the tag of both quantum and um, and catalyst or it, it applies it applies both tags and so you can't use it on the same tags you can't use an evolved reborn on on something you can't use an evolved upgrader on a f on the same fusion and you can't use it on the same reborn item because that'd be really overpowered um but the hope is that evolved reborns will be accessible by way more players than reborn fusions uh so that shouldn't there will be a lot of players who don't have any fusions but will be able to get evolved reborns um, how did you start developing games? Thank you, Timothy Gaming, for subbing. I just found Roblox one day, and I thought it was really cool, and I started building on it, and then I started scripting, and somehow I got to this. When 2 GPGFT exploded, that made me super famous, and then I made Miner Saban, and I don't know. It's just been a crazy process. I can't really... There's no one thing that caused it to happen. Um, will the blueprint idea just give random blueprints? Not sure yet. Um, I'll take user input, though, and figure out how to do it. Uh, where, when are old vintages getting removed from boxes? Probably never. Um, vintages are meant to be permanent maybe some will get removed later but it's normally just exotics that are removed uh will you update war games no i released it just for you guys i asked roblox to bring it back up and they did after i fixed some things but i'm probably not gonna update it again because it's just not a game that really interests me um who are you gonna make a new minecraft server no i prefer roblox uh, when is Utopia coming back? So Utopia is closed right now, but Utopia will be coming back in about two, three weeks. Uh, first to executives only, and then to everyone else for heavy testing. Whew. How about adding a feature for Twitter, Instagram, etc., kind of like Discord? Uh, I'm not sure if that would be traceable. Maybe if that was traceable. Will you add Doge Dropper? No. Uh, True Overlord Evo? Maybe. I'm open to it. That'd be a cool idea. Uh, how easy would it be to make a base shield? So I've been considering making a wall generator that just generates a full wall around your base. I'll look into that a bit more. Uh, I like the idea though. Uh, will we ever get sell all? Maybe. <laughs> That's a solid maybe. Uh, when will the almighty tier come back? Um, isn't it already back? That's divine. That's divine. I think... That's also divine. It might come back. I might add new almighty shop items. That would be very cool. I agree with you. Are you a nerd? Technically, yes. Uh, can you give advice how to start? Don't learn to script for the sake of learning how to script. Learn to script because there's something you want to get done. You like Start something simple. Like Say you want to make a sled racing game, right? Learn how to script that. That's it. Don't, don't worry about anything else. Just learn how to script that. And maybe try something a little bit more complicated. Maybe try making a car racing game and learn what you need to know to, to make a car racing game. And start simple and just keep building your way up until you know more and more and more. And then you can build on that and start looking up your own. The best way to get into scripting to motivate yourself to learn isn't I want to be a scripter. It's hey, I want to do this. And the only way to do that is to script it. And that's, that's the best way to learn in my opinion. Will you ever be adding more crates? Yes! So... The crate system isn't done yet, but as you can see, there's a box inventory and there's a search bar here. And so what I'm going to do is, it's not just going to be the three box types, there's going to be limited edition boxes. There's going to be special boxes for game passes and or awards. There, there's going to be basically many different kinds of boxes. It's no longer limited to just the three, and you'll be able to access all of them here. Yep, thank you for asking. Can you add a hotkey for the settings tab? Ah, maybe. It's E to open inventory and F to open shop right now, and I want you guys to know that those hotkeys still work. So F opens up shop, E opens up inventory. You can switch between the two of them. Very useful feature. So I want you guys to know that that still works, and I might add the settings one too. Um, what is the point of slipstream evolutions? That was just an idea proposed by Foxy. It's not actually happening. That'd be silly, because you can't have more than one slipstream. Will you add sandbox map? I am looking for a way to make sandbox uh, make sandbox mode without breaking the game, um, and without making the game uninteresting. Because the whole point of my understanding is you want to acquire the coolest items. So I'm looking at it. I definitely am. Um, and something else I'm looking at is um, is a leaderboard of the people who have made the most money today. And it's just the people who have made the most money today, and they will be put up on the leaderboard for everyone to see that they made the most money. Uh, and they'll probably be in the center of the map. And there'll probably be some other leaderboards too. I really want to promote top players on Miner's Haven. And so I will probably try my best to add leaderboards in the middle of the map. 
that show off all the most hardcore and all of the most um, intense players. And so I'll probably have a leaderboard for most rebirths today and a leaderboard for most money earned today. That would be very fun. Uh, why don't you stream on Twitch? I want to sub and donate. Uh, YouTube's a lot more powerful, um, and I don't really, I'm not, in, I'm not, I don't stream for the money. I stream because I like talking to you guys, and I like making, I, I like the streams because they're fun. I don't think I even make money off of YouTube streams. I, I'm, a, I'm a partner, but I'm not, like, I don't have a, a network, so if I do make money, I'm not really sure where it goes. <laughs> um, but I, YouTube just is way more technologically advanced. The chance coders are way better. Um, there's a lot, like, for example, I can I can restart my stream with simple settings, and, like with different settings, and it'll recognize that instead of splitting up into two separate streams, and just stuff like that that makes it really cool and way better than Twitch. Uh, it allows much higher bitrate, you know, flawless 1080p 60 frames per second support. I mean, you guys can probably tell this is a very high quality stream. Um, frame rate's high, you know, the the everything's nice and pretty, it's 1080p. And I just wouldn't be able to do that on Twitch, and a bunch of other reasons. Uh, will Lucky Clovers be buffed? Probably not. They do their job pretty well. Um, they might seem useless, but that's just because you're used to using them. Uh, they really do increase your odds. Uh, I thought it was a science facility. Maybe. That sounds like a cool idea. Uh, ban modded haven. Roblox is already doing that. Roblox is already deleting and or banning people. Like if you make it on an alt, they'll just outright terminate you. Or if you have poor moderation history, they'll just terminate you if you upload it. Uh, but they've I've also seen them ban people. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, is shield generator useful or not really? <laughs> not anymore. I might remove it from the game, or I might I might make it do something else actually. Um, I, I have some ideas in mind that would be really cool. If you do add a leaderboard, will it be people in the server or universally? People in the server would be dumb. It would be all miners saving players today. So the leaderboard, it's kind of like an Azure Mines. There's a billboard that says who has mined the most ores today. Um, what I will do is I'll make a leaderboard of like the top five players who have rebirthed the most today. And I will be globally across all platforms, across all servers, the five big bosses who have rebirthed the most. And then the five who have earned the most money. Those will probably be the two leaderboards that I will show. Let's see. Is this update going to add to Xbox? Yep, so Xbox will be receiving the new GUI. They'll get some custom changes to make it work well on Xbox. But Xbox will no longer have the old two generations ago GUI that they have right now. And they will have all the cool features like um, settings and not settings, like uh, second sacrifice and all that. So this GUI will work across mobile, Xbox, and PC. Are you secretly having yes? You know I am. If someone rebirths and gets over life device, will both people get it if someone helped the other person? No. So whoever owns the base, everything on the base is theirs. Um, but if you play together with someone, you won't get an overlord back at your base. That would be broken. That would be people who would be like selling overlord devices, and then the overlord device would be useless. No, no. Um, although something interesting is that you can open your own boxes while you're at someone else's base, and the items will be sent back to your base. Um, and there probably will be incentive to work with other people. Maybe I'll add box gifting or something like that. But there'll definitely be incentive. Um, there will be incentive to do that. Let's see. Evolved vintages and exotics. I'm not going to do that. I really want this to be special for rebirths. Can you add a new exotic code? There has never been an exotic code, and there never will be, because that would ruin the rarity of exotics. They're supposed to be rare items. Um, I know if you're like an avid player and you've opened a ton of boxes, they don't seem rare to you but uh, they definitely are rare items. Although, with the new box inventory system, um, now that there's more than three boxes, I will add ultra rare boxes that have insane rates, and I might even add a box that has a guaranteed vintage or exotic rate. But again, that box would be very rare. That box would just be, you, you'd be very unlikely to get that box. But yeah, that'd be part of this. Will you ever be adding drop crates as well? Oh, you mean boxes. No, no, so crates are what drops from the sky, boxes is what's in your inventory. So if I mix those up, I'm sorry. Um, I'm interested in that. Yeah, it's an, it's an idea that I'm definitely open to. He means the stuff that rains from the sky. Definitely down for it. Uh, the code for a Brezza toy gives the Azure Mines pickaxe. Yep, so the Brezza toy is out in stores, and if you get it, you get an Azure Mines pickaxe, which is super cool. Um, let me put down the items so we have some cool scenery. So that's definitely buy the Brezza toy in stores now. And I might even add a reward in Miner's Haven if you have the Brezza toy. That'd be really cool.
uh, or I might award you a special rank on the Discord if you own my toy. Because I can actually check if you own the item, and I can award you based on that, which would be really cool. Um, but yeah. Please open back to PGFT. I want to. It's on my priorities, but I do have other priorities. Um, can you make it so if a crate spawns on your base, no one can get it unless they have permission to? No. If you want the crate, you have to pick it up. People can definitely steal your crate. Although, you know what I do to people who steal my crate? Wow! Wow! I kill them. <laughs> Die, doggy. Uh, he's dodging all my shots. But yeah, you can you can do that. You can, you can stab them. This, this doge has so much health. The doge gets like insane health. Any day now. Any day now. Okay, I'm convinced this doge is invincible. Whatever. Um, you can you can try to kill them or something. I don't know. I'm gonna buff the rocket, or at least try to buff the rocket. Ah! Yep. What's gonna happen to research points? Research points are still exactly the same. They function exactly the same as they do now. No changes to research points. Oh, also something interesting is that your research points will stay the same across save files. So uh, that's research points are the only thing. Research points and game pass rewards are the only thing that's the same across all save files. So stuff like crystals, crystals are tied to your save file. So if you start a new save file, you will not have your crystals. You won't have your crystal items. It's a brand new save file, but there are three save files. Are Twitch items rip? Yeah, Twitch coins probably will no longer be obtainable. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, they're rip. Uh, can you make the minigun stronger? I don't know. I don't want to say that. I might return to Twitch if Twitch uh, amps up their game or they add a really cool new feature. I might return to Twitch, but for the time being, I'm focused on YouTube because YouTube is where it's cool to be right now. What other items are going to come out next? So uh, follow me on Twitter. There I will. You probably already are. There I'm going to release all the information about this update and all the previews and all the new items and stuff. Can you add a trade system? Never. That would break the entire game. Um, you'd give a soccer garden to a life one and boom, they'd rebirth instantly. Completely broken. You still thinking of Corrupted Sacrifice? So Corrupted Sacrifice is the idea that if you sacrifice on a second save slot, something different will happen, and it's definitely something I'm still looking at, it'd be a cool idea. But it's not, I'm not sure if I'd be able to get that t done in time. When the update releases, will you bring back the Sword Master Game Pass? Probably not. Sword Master Game Pass is limited edition, and the people who own it would be very upset if I did that. What will happen to Twitch coins? So, on the server side, when you open a box, the Twitch coins will still do the Twitch coin thing, but I'll probably drop client-side support for them, so that they will no longer have a special icon, you won't be able to see how many you have. Um, maybe you will, I don't know. It depends on when I get around to doing the box thing and how I do that. But they will still work, they'll still do their job, and you won't lose them. Let's see, oh my god, Barry Streaming says Ray. Yeah, welcome to the stream, dude. Can I have access to Utopia? No, you cannot. You gotta wait three weeks like everyone else. Uh, yeah. This I'm gonna call the stream. Uh, I'm gonna call the stream here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try to stream again this weekend. I want to be more active with my streams. Um, and I'm gonna be moving actually this weekend. I'm gonna be setting up in a new place, so I'll be able to let you guys know more about that later. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch... Oh, one last question. Shiva says, what happens to the radio? I don't know, but I'm going to try to bring the radio back just for you. Everyone thanks, Shiva. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your dog to subscribe. Smash that like button. Leave a like below. Leave a comment below. And uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.